It's Cadiz at home to Sevilla. Uh, Cadiz plus 240. Sevilla plus 135. I had to double take there. Sevilla uh, draw no bet is minus 160. Sevilla to score twice is plus 165. Cadiz not to score is at plus 155. The under or over again is a stingy two with the over at minus 125. Telling me they expect bang on two goals. But they also, the draw is at plus 210. Uh, let's go with you, Pavlos. Plus 210, the draw. Cadiz, Sevilla. Why is Sevilla massive at plus 135? Uh, because on the road this season, they've been very, very bad. And um, I think they, they haven't won. No, they only beat Mallorca uh, so far in the season, I believe, uh, and Espanyol. So, um, yeah, but even more so lately, they've been struggling. Uh, they've been struggling to score goals. They've been struggling to keep um, their defense from uh, conceding a lot of goals. While Cadiz at home, they've been quite impressive. Yes, they didn't have very difficult matches, uh, to be honest, as of late. But um, their streak cannot be ignored, their home streak. So this is a very tricky side with a hint of a draw uh, involving two teams that are fighting for relegation. The classic six-pointer, as we like to say. Um, nobody likes to lose this match. Um, maybe... If push comes to shove, um, maybe they'll settle for a draw. But um, to be honest, uh, because I, I hadn't looked at the referees, because these are available uh, on on Thursdays, uh, I looked at the referee and it's one of the top three, top four in cards. And the Sevilla and Cadiz, they get a lot of cards. So I wouldn't be surprised by cards mm -hmm. in this match. Uh, I'd like to take a, a deeper look before uh, suggesting anything. But again, the prices on Sevilla are so high because they are generally bad on the road and Cadiz, are strong at home and there's a very, very good possibility of a draw here. So uh, I would advise caution in this match. Yeah, the draw is at plus 210, remember. Listen, I just think Sevilla have shown that they can turn the corner. And then when you match up the Cadiz 11 versus the Sevilla 11, you've got to come out with Sevilla. I was expecting plus 105 for Sevilla. Um, I sort of priced this up the same as I saw uh, in Sierra of Lazio being away at plus 105. And then I saw plus 135. I didn't have to look much further. Yeah, well, I mean, um, for, for me in this game, what, what stands out is is the fact that Sevilla finally changed manager again. Third time this season, third manager, Jose Luis Mendilibar uh, coming on. We know him for uh, coaching Eibar, coaching Osasuna, doing pretty well with those teams. Probably the best team he's coached so far, but I think he's he's the kind of guy you want to try and fight uh, in those bottom positions and, and survive, you know? So I think in that sense... He could really be uh, a beneficial choice for um, Sevilla, of course. I mean, um, aside from that, Sevilla have a really good record uh, against Cadiz, where they have uh, haven't lost in the last 11 games uh, against them, or, or Cadiz haven't won against them in the last 11 Seven games. Seven wins so... in the last eight without defeat. Yeah, so I mean, this also comes to prove that Sevilla usually uh, do well against Cadiz. But again, it's a very different season uh, to the ones we've had in the past seven, eight, nine, ten years, of course, because we know that Sevilla is in a very critical situation and uh, Cadiz too at the same time. So this makes the uh, this uh, Andalusian derby maybe a bit more exciting, a bit more heated. We could say cards would be uh, something to look into, as Todd was mentioned, because you know both teams are fighting for their lives basically at the moment. Uh, they're both on 28 um, points at the moment, just two from the drop zone. So it's going to be very intense. It's going to be very entertaining to watch for sure. And also to add to this, uh, let's not forget that Gazi is still without their starting goalkeeper Ledesma, who uh, was sanctioned with a red card for quite a few games. And since they're without, also without, sorry, without their um, starting right back, um, Itha. So that's, those are also two important players they won't be able to count on. And for me, I mean, it comes down to Sevilla reacting now with their new manager. That's basically for me the key to betting for them because I haven't trusted them this season. I don't fully trust them yet, but I think. Uh, this might be, be a good moment to do so against Cadiz, prove, prove a point. In the end, it could perfectly be a draw, I know, but uh, I think Sevilla need to react now. And if it's not with this manager, um, I don't know who will, when it's going to be. I think Sevilla to score twice is a great price at plus 165. But if they score twice, then I think they win the game. And at plus 135, I'm not moving on. I mean, obviously, we said that the head-to-head, -head, Sevilla is 7-1-0. and zero. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that, Danny. Uh I say this, that we'll in back Sevilla in this one. Sevilla will take all three points for me, and it will not be pretty. If they win, who cares? Let's have a quick look at the official picks. Remember that draw 
is at plus 210, which again, anytime it's near plus 200, it normally ends in a draw for me. Sevilla, money line, plus 135. Uh, Roman's gone digging a little bit more, though. Sevilla and under four and a half at plus 160. Um, I think there's more chance of Nelson getting his eye back, and that's Lord Nelson, if you know your history, than there being five goals in this game. So as long as Sevilla win, I fancy you're picking up the plus 160, Roman, just to uh, build up the pot for Paco to come and spend it. 